Okay, so today we will be using Autodesk Inventor in order to model a headphone wrap. And to do that, we'll start out by making a new part. And to better describe what a headphone wrap is, it's basically something that you can put on a lanyard or a keychain that you can wrap your headphones around and it will hold it and you do not need to risk them getting tangled. So, to start off, we'll begin any model like we usually do with a 2D sketch. So we'll start on that XY plane, and we'll start with one rectangle. And the rectangle that I'm drawing is based on a previous print that I've done, and it has some dimensions that I just measured with calipers, and I, those are the dimensions that I'll be using just for simplicity. So, the dimension in length is 1.7 inches long and it is not whatever that height is it is 1.2 inches high let's just go ahead and make this full screen okay and now that's going to be the base of the wrap that we'll get into more detail later so now to make the little headphone attachment we will add another rectangle and this is going to be 0.6 long and tall it is um, about 0.75 tall it's 0.75 actually let's make that 0.7 just for simplicity and um, we want to center that along this rectangle so we use our center align tool up here and then match it up with that rectangle right there now this is actually going to end up being rounded the entire wrap ends up looking like a person so this is going to be the head so you don't and we're making this fillet right now so instead of 0.125, we want it to be the entire length. So it's 0.6 divided by 2. So it's 0.3. In this, oh, 0.3. And this will create the head. Okay. So now we're done with that tool for now. And now we can start making the actual body. So to do that, we'll be using the arc tool. So you want to select the three-point arc and make it from one corner of that box to that box, and then go in and then make that. You can change how it looks to your personal preference, but just something reasonable, human-looking like. And these corners become the limbs, and you can actually dimension that if you need it to be perfect you can actually do that's 0.25 and I think that that looks pretty good 2 point or point two five from the arc to the edge of the rectangle and now it's nice and symmetrical okay so now we would like to make it a little point that uh, you can wrap one of the ends in so we'll give it some more defined legs by just finding the where it snaps to the center point and then moving up you can just kind of eyeball it and then an, another three point arc from the point to this point and then just, just kind of eyeball that again to for however you like it this is all very personalized it doesn't need to be strictly anything it just can be however you want it to look because it's going in your pocket and that's all that matters is that you like it okay so right now we have the basic body shape so we can go ahead and delete the rectangle that was just used for uh, structure now it's kind of starting to take shape so now we just need places to put the headphones so we need two different circles each of the same dimension one is slightly above the point and that'll have a diameter of 0 0.09 and this is just slightly smaller than the uh, width 
of your uh, headphone cables, or most of them. So then you want to draw lines from the circle down to the legs, and it will actually use the trim tool to open that up. So it will actually give it a nice little crevice to wrap your headphones around. So now you can put in the base or the tips of your headphones in there to begin the wrap. Now we need to do another one of those up in by one of the corners or wherever you, it's really wherever you want it to go. So another point zero nine, and let's move that over a little. You can just drag it. It's, it's, this is all very loosely done. And then two more lines. Then just draw that to the edge. And then we're going to trim that again to make it open. So now we have finished, and uh, we're actually going to trim this line. So now it is just one solid shape. And uh, before I forget, we, are, we need to add a hole for our, to uh, attach to our lanyard. And to do that, we will just put a hole in the... Uh, uh, there we go. We're just going to put a hole near where the head would be if this were a person. And that you want to be about 0.2. That'll fit most key rings or whatever you're going to be attaching this to. And you want it close to the edge, relatively. So that should work fine. And don't trim it out already. There we go. What are you? Okay. So right now we just have the basic. 2D shape, and now we're going to make it 3D. So to do that, we will finish the sketch and extrude. Hmm. Apparently, it does not seem to think that, that is a solid object. Didn't like those lines getting moved. Nope. Okay, so while we were gone, I was able to find out what the problem was. And the problem was that these two lines were not connected. So to fix that, we can use the extend tool. So it does not like that dimension. That doesn't need to be there. So extend to there, and now it's one solid loop, and it, it's much happier about that. Let's trim that. Now we're ready to go. So now we want to select both of those areas, and instead of an inch, that's just huge, you would want it to be one eighth of an inch. And this is something that's fairly sturdy but also still is fairly smooth. And you might notice that some of these edges look kind of sharp and those can get pointy in your pocket. So we will use the fillet tool with a fillet of one thirty second of an inch for all of the edges that we can find. So there's the four hand edges, and then the four edges there, plus just this edge, and then one last, two last edges for where those headphones go in, where the cord wraps around. Now this is just a base model, and this is something that is really easy to personalize. You can do this by printing something or 
You can paint it however you would like. I am going to put write something on it that will be extruded, that will, instead of being engraved, it's pretty much the opposite of engraving. So I will use some text to do that. So you can just write your name here. So you can just write, for this purpose I'll just be writing your name. And get the text function, there we go. Now we can move it around wherever you want to put it, whatever orientation, you can rotate it. And then to make that 3D, we just extrude it. Instead of an eighth, you, we want it to be 1 16th. You don't want it to stick out too far. So that's, there you have it. That is one headphone wrap, and then you can just 3D print that, and then you can have something to wrap your headphones where you don't need to worry about it getting tangled in your pocket. So if you have any questions about this video, you can leave me a comment, and um, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.